and I'll come back home. Cool. I know say it don't take small why I drop video and that are because I don't they do paid mentorship programs with some of them. So if you're not they interested in the mentorship program, we are going to teach you now one on one. Then just follow the link for the description and then we go take them from there. So but meanwhile, for today's video, I'll show you how to build this profile web page with Bootstrap and JavaScript. I hope say so you're not going to enjoy this kind of video because this profile website it makes sense where we we get many things we will feel learned for this portfolio website. This is a even get secure form. We say it gets your own recapture. And then I can't drop one nice animation. We will say if we add any animation. So I go teach you now and I feel they put correct SVG animations on top of your web pages. So if you check them, you go say in a fully responsive website. If you check them for a mobile phone is still fresh if you check on for tablet is still fresh check the menu you click on you can see the menu don't they collapse now if you say make we expand them again like i close this one if you say you want to download the resume if you even download your resume for here this is not just a pdf we say anybody if you click on and download your own resume make we test the form make i show that as the form they even take work so i could just put my name for here so then I go put my email for here. Then I go put my phone number for here. And then make I just drop one small note for here. We say we go take test, say everything done they work correct, correct for us. And because in a secure form, you go need click this I am not a robot. So once you don't validate finish, you can click this send message. It go come redirect you come this thank you page and if you click even this link for here we'll say go carry you go back into the website and by the way this site i go show now how we feel deploy them online so that we feel they work with this site so we say make we check the back end now our form name be this now the time where the form just show be this so make we open them you go see say now the message where the form they give us for here so anybody if you send you a message online are you going to see this message for this back end for here so if you now enjoy all this kind of video no one no forget to just take one seconds one seconds pause the video just like them um, subscribe if you never subscribe already make we start to the code for here soon So I did inside my terminal here and now here we will be run all our commands to set up our project. So the first command we will run now uh, pnpm create vit. As we don't run them like this, it go ask us what we want to call our project. So make we give our project a name. We will just call this project profile project v1. If you give them any name where you want. And then we go select vanilla javascript. And inside TypeScript or JavaScript, we go select JavaScript, press enter, and as you don't enter for here, so we feel they run our project with these commands. So make we just follow each of these commands one by one. So make we cd into our project, and then we could just run the installation script, which now pnpm install. This go help us install all the dev dependencies for our project. So make we open up VS Code. So I could just run code dot. That will help me open up VS Code on top of this directory of the project where we built for here. So next, make we run pmpm dev. We go run our dev server. Our dev server don't open on top of this port. So this is not just simple counter application. We vit they help us the setup for here. We go clean everything. So we could go back into our VS Code. And for inside our VS Code, what we want to do for here, we say we want to delete the styles.css and then we go create a new folder. This new folder, make we call them src and then make we delete this counter.js. We don't need them again. Next, make we move the index.html and the main.js inside the src directory for here. So. So make we give this our project a title. I could just call them home and shola.com. Just any title if you put for there. So make we create a new directory inside our SRC folder. 
go just create and we'll call her img now here we're going to copy all the images from github into ram on our feet go to github link where i draw for the description copy the image put them inside here this is not just svg image that's why you see all this code instead of just the picture so we'll use this svg image as our fave icon so you just come here for this line 5 you will change this width to img slash fave icon dot svg after this one make we create a h1 and this h1 we could just drop on text for here like hello world and we could just talk say for inside this hello world we won't come give them a class make we give them a class of display hyphen 3 or dash 3 and then we'll give them another class of text hyphen or dash danger i always use dash so we could just give them text dash danger if you come inside the package json you will see say we feel run our script for here so i could just come into my vs code for the top here i could just open up a new terminal and for here i feel just run the script of pnpm i bootstrap and then bootstrap dash icons make sure say you put that space for here just go make sure say we're going to install bootstrap and bootstrap icons now two different packages so we'll just press enter install the packages and this is a you don't install our dependencies so as we don't get these dependencies for here so we feel called now install our dev dependencies if you check them for inside your package.json you can see say we get our dependencies set for there we could run a similar command we could call on pnpm i sas as per sass dash d this dash d means say you want to install them as a dev dependency as a developer dependency so press enter it will come install all the de dev dependencies for us for now so you see say it don't install our sas dev dependency and our vit where they there as our dev dependency make we go back into the root of the project make we create a new folder or a new directory inside the src folder we'll just call them scss and inside this scss folder we could just create a new file make we call this file style dot scss as for the column style dot scss we feel import our bootstrap css inside here so we just say we want import then i add import and then inside quotes for here double quotes we could call import our bootstrap slash scss slash bootstrap this is now how we they take import all bootstrap scss remember say so we know they use css we just use scss for here then we could come create a new directory we could call them js and in fact make we even carry the main.js drop them inside the js directory or js folder so we go leave the index.html outside them but we go put the main.js inside the js folder next thing we want to say we just want import our css into this main.js so i go clean everything with the inside here make gonna clean everything with the inside your main js as you don't clean them then we go call import dot dot slash scss slash styles dot scss then are the css where we get for all we could just import them like that so all right next we could call import all as bootstrap from bootstrap this will help us make sure say we get all the bootstrap javascript where we need for our project for here so so we just they import our css from the css and we they link them um, as our javascript for inside the html remember saying our module so we feel the import modules inside them so make we create a new file inside here make we call this file vit.config.js now here we're going to set all our vit configuration where we need for our vit project so we could call set the export default so that job means say we want to export the settings where we they set for this object for here so now this object where we get for here we want to set the root 
as the src that are the src folder we will make before we will just make for here and then we go come talk say we also want to set the build so the build now where we go to build our project so so we go set the out directory or out dir as the distribution then a dot dot slash this so this build it go to run for inside our build script where we set for the package.json this one don't they set for us already but we just set them to that one and then we can they set the server for here so so we go set the server and this server we go give them an object and this object we go set the port for inside the object and we'll set the port to 8080 now all these settings where we get for here everything done fresh everything done set for us for here so so for inside our terminal make we just run pnpm dev if you run pnpm run dev but we go run pnpm dev so press control click on the link you can see say it don't start our server on localhost 8000 where we said before and if you click the link you get this hello world with all our bootstrap styling on top of so we could go back into vs code make we do some kind of small things so first make we select all the elements for here with our scss we could set the margin to zero we could set the padding to zero and then we could set the box sizing to border box make gonna copy the code from the github repo you can see say now there way i get this google font family of Mozart. so make gonna copy them from the github repo and then make we style the body so we want make all the text for inside the body make it get the font family of Mozart. and as a fallback we could just set them as sans serif for the fallback font family then make we just select all the anchor tags for here make we set the text decoration to none so that all of them are going to get that underline where they always they all the anchor tags for html and that naive we don't set up our project for here so for the next part of this project we will start to build our responsive menu with bootstrap for here so so i will see you now for the next video